Carrie Linden. I'm a tattoo artist and a passionate gardener as well. I like to grow anything from cucumbers to tomatoes and sweet peas, mint, strawberries, anything I can get my hands on. I have tried to manually till my yard with a little man-held tiller and it is incredibly hard. Uh, not to mention the yard out here is really tough and hard with the rock. So in trying to do something manual, it takes a lot of labor to do it. I'm really looking forward to using the Auric Garden Quake because I have a large plot that I'm ready to use for gardening and it seems like it takes a long time manually. So this has true promise to me starting the garden that I wanted all year. So I just want to go over some basics of operation on the tiller with you. Okay. Um, this here is your engine kill switch. Basically it's an on off switch. Okay. So to start your engine, just go ahead and flip that on. Your pull cord here. If you want, you can use this um, as a step to go ahead and start. You okay. can just start it that way. This lever here is your differential lock lever. Okay. So what this does is this locks the axle in place. Oh. So when you're tilling, it's a lot easier to get the machine going straight forward. So you lock that in place when you're ready to till so you can till in a straight line. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then when, when you want to turn it, you just go ahead and you, um, what you can do is you can just flip it off that way and then it's a lot easier to turn. This is your drive, so basically you just get that going, that releases the brake, it's like an e-brake, um, that releases the brake and then that'll get you going. Okay. So, um, so when I start tilling, I'll mm -hmm. hold this down because otherwise the brake's on. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, and that's a good point too. When you start tilling, what you want to do too um, is you want to hold it down a little bit just to keep to the, the tines in the ground. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Um, okay. And then we have, this is your depth height adjustment here, so if you want to set your depth height um, what you do is you pull this back towards you and then you can raise or lower it oh, okay. and set it that way. Um, normally when you're breaking new ground, I'm going to go ahead and get it pretty low. And then as, you, as you're tilling and tilling more, you can go ahead and raise it up. Okay. I just got to use the Auric Garden Quake and I am over the moon surprised at how easy it was. It would have taken me all day with my manual tiller to do this thing and in less than no time at all, it seems like I have a brand new area to garden.